In this video, we are going to look at how to install KeePass and use it for your corporate or personal purpose. KeePass is a very trusted and very secure password management system. It's been used by all over the world by many corporate offices and by individual users. And it is an open source, free, lightweight, easy to use software and it can be used in Windows, Linux, and Mac OS operating system. So you need to go to HTTPS KeePass Info Download, and then there are multiple version of them, and uh, normally you have to install the latest version, that is the, the most secure version, which has, which has all the patches. So I'm going to go here, and your download will start shortly and i already have downloaded you see here i have downloaded here so let me start installing it yes close this one I have two screens, so it's going to pop up on other one, so I have to drag it down here. I'll accept, keep as, and uh, you can, you know, leave it as a default, or you can select whatever folder you wanted. I will leave it as default, and I will keep everything here, and create a desktop shortcut. That should be fine. Keep as associate keep as with the uh, KB KDBX file extension. Yes, you need to do that. Install. It's a very lightweight software, so it's going to install very quickly. So it's already done. All right. So I'm going to open the keep as here. So this is going to be your screen uh, for keep as. So let's see how to start a fresh database. So when you install KeePass, you will have two options. One, starting from the scratch. But if you already have a corporate database, you only need to know where your database is located. So if you see here, it's going to ask you where your database is. If you give the path, you will be asked for the master password. Once you enter the master password for your database, you should be able to go in and view your uh, passwords or create new password and such. But if you're going to start fresh, so you have to go to File, New, and it tells you your data will be stored in a KeePass database file, which is a regular file. After clicking OK, you will be prompted to specify the location where KeePass should save this file. So you need to give a location where you are going to save all your passwords. It is important that you remember where the database file is stored. If you are using it for the personal purpose, you just create a folder in your computer and always you need to have a backup in a USB drive. If your computer crashes, everything will go with it. So let me click OK. OK, let's see. File, new, OK, and then I'm going to specify a folder here. Um, key, key pass, personal. I'm going to name the file personal. K, and I'm going to save it here. And then it's going to ask you the master password. So you enter a master password. Make sure you enter a very strong master password. Otherwise, you know, if you have a weak password for the master password, all your other passwords inside the key pass is exposed. See, when I put more characters, it become more secure and it become green. But I'm just going to go back to where I left it before. 
and I'm going to click OK. The specific master password is weak. All right. So it didn't recommend. Uh, are you sure you want to use this master password? I would say yes for now. All right. And database name, I would say my personal password. This is where I keep my personal passwords. All right, so emergency sheet, a key pass emergency sheet contain all important information that is required to open your database. It should be printed, filled out, and stored in a secure location where you, where only you and possibly a few other people that you trust have access to. It is recommended that you create an emergency sheet for your database. Do you want to print an emergency sheet now? So, yeah, I would uh, uh, say yes, and then it's going to print uh, something in my printer. So here is my printer, and I'm going to say just print uh, page one, or, or all pages is better. Print, or I will uh, collect it uh, later. This is how you start a database in the key pass. Right now you are using the key pass for your personal use. And say if you want to switch to your corporate key pass to look at something, you just go here and then uh, if you know the folder location, just give the folder location and then it will ask the master password for your corporate uh, key pass. So let's create some passwords and store it in the key pass. Uh, let me uh, create something for my email. I'm going to go to my email and then add group, new group, personal, say uh, mine, this is my emails and then I'm going to say add group my wife's email all right so now I go to mine and right click here add entry I'm going to type uh, hotmail uh, say abc at mail.com and I'm going to say ABC, abc is my username and my password is uh, I have to so this is my password All right, so okay. So I'm going to give you some clue about my password. I'm going to use, uh, I'm using some uh, fruit name uh, with some characters for my password. So, you know, I'm giving my, I'm giving a clue if I forget it. Okay, click OK. All right, so now I have stored my a hotmail password here and you do the same thing for everything like a banking you have home banking you have anything internet you have network windows password and all kind of things you can store it here so let me close it here i'm going to save it and now i'm going to go back and reopen my key pass all right i'm going to put my master passwords So if you see here, just I, I'm back uh, into my key pass. So let's uh, create another database. So you can go and create another new database. And then you can say, okay, uh, my business passwords.
so this is my uh, business uh, account master key yeah that is fine database name my business okay okay i will skip this time for this one okay my business passwords and if you see here you have both of them here right next to each other and then you can do the same thing here so let me close this one save let me open up again so now you have two keypad databases and the current one is here because that is the one you opened the last if you want to go to your personal one what you have to do is go to this folder and then this is where your key pass database is going to be and then this is personal all right now i can open my personal let me uh, go to my other one my business if you if i want to go to my business now show my go here and then go to my business and you see my business password all right now i am in my business also here so personal and business you can keep both or you can close one and open the business one hope you liked this video if you liked it please hit the thumbs up button and if you want to see more of my videos subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification all right i will see you in my next video bye